Hello friends, welcome to Dr. Osman Sadhu Trends, Swing into Educational Trends. How are you all? Hope you are all doing well. Well, after receiving lots of positive responses from students for my earlier video on PharmD and its importance, I also received request for making a new video on pharmacy profession or pharmacy career. So today I will be talking about pharmacy as a career. So let's get started. What is pharmacy or pharmaceutical sciences? Well, pharmacy is a branch of science that deals with the preparation, dosing, dispensing and effects of medicine on human body. It is the interconnection of medicine, biology and chemistry. The person who deals with pharmacy is called as pharmacist. When a pharmacist in introduces his or her profession, people often ask a question by saying, are you going to run a pharmacy or a medical shop? And soon they end their question by replacing a question mark with full stop. By doing this, they actually stop thinking much about pharmacy profession. Although running a pharmacy shop would be an option as community pharmacist, that is certainly not a limit as pharmacists are the professionals who have the license to formulate and dispense the medicine which completes a prescription. Pharmacists main responsibilities include dispensing and managing medication, educating patients about correct drug usage and possible drug side effects in managing the health care and well-being of patients. Pharmacists are drug experts in having knowledge in handling the medication for patients in general and also follow the law pertaining to the prescribed medication. Now let us have a glance on pharmaceutical industry in India. India is the largest provider of generic drugs globally with supply over 50% of demand across the globe. India has a large number of scientists and engineers who have the potential to take the industry to even a higher level. Pharmaceutical exports from the country includes bulk drugs, drug formulation, herbal products, surgicals and biological. The compounded annual growth rate of Indian pharma industry is 15% which exhibits significant growth opportunities. It is also expected that the pharma companies will continue to focus on improving over operational efficiency and productivity in order to provide better service to the customers. The companies are expected to exhibit the growth phase through alliances and partnerships. Now let us uh, even talk about the pharmaceutical sector in India and its growth. Increasing private sector investment in research and health and low cost production has led to exports reaching 17.27 billion US dollars in 2018. The Pharma Vision 2020 is aimed at making India a global leader in drug manufacturing. The government has invested more than 5 to 6 thousand crores to set up pharma parks. Government initiatives such as National Health Promotion Scheme, National Health Protection Scheme, Pharma Vision 2020, Drug Price Control Order and so on pushes the industry to next level. Now pharmacy is chosen as a career but why? The pharmaceutical industry in India is the world's third largest in terms of volume. It is the only industry to record profit and create jobs even in global slowdown in the year 2003 to 2009. It is the second only to in Indian defense sector in terms of R&D spending. In terms of net exports, India topped the world in exporting generic drugs worth rupees 15 billion US dollars in 2014. Now, there's a bright future for pharmacy graduates. Why? Because of the slowing Chinese economy and exports, an opportunity for Indian pharma market to show their potential. Government policies for making India skilled youth programs will be beneficial if utilized properly. Cost-effective clinical trials, chemical synthesis pipeline for new chemical entities serves as a new path and era. Strong illegal and financial framework like intellectual property rights and vibrant information and technology for data analytics is an another added feature. Now various disciplines of pharmaceutical sciences or pharmacy are pharmaceutical chemistry, which is also a distinct branch of synthetic chemistry combining pharmacology, organic chemistry and chemical biology. Pharmaceutics is a discipline of pharmacy that deals with the process of turning a new chemical entity or old drug into a medication to be safely used to be used safely and effectively by the patient. It is also called the science of dosage form design. Pharmacy practice is another discipline of pharmacy which involves developing the professional roles of pharmacist. Pharmacy practice offers practicing pharmacist in-depth usual reviews and research trials 
and survey of new drugs and novel therapeutic approaches. Clinical pharmacy again is a health science discipline in which pharmacists provide patient care that optimizes medication therapy and promotes health and disease prevention. Pharmacology is another discipline of pharmacy and also medicine which deals about the action of drug on the body and body's response to the drug. It explains the journey of drug from its administration, absorption, distribution, metabolism and elimination from the body. Pharmacognosy is a study of plants or other natural sources as possible sources of drugs. It involves the study of physical, chemical, biochemical and biological properties of a drug or a drug substance of natural origin which serves as a new drug from natural source. Pharmaceutical analysis is a branch of pharmacy and practical chemistry that involves a series of process of identification, determination, quantification and purification of a substance. Then followed by separation of the component of a solution or a mixture or determination of structure of chemical compound. Now let us see to become a pharmacist you need credentials. So what credentials are needed to become a pharmacist? The following courses are to be studied if you want to become a pharmacist. Now the course like Diploma in Pharmacy or DPharm is a foundation course in the field of pharmacy. The course is designed in such a way to prepare the student to work under the supervision of licensed pharmacists in hospitals and other related pharmaceutical fields. The basic eligibility criteria for pursuing Diploma in Pharmacy is 10 plus 2 and admissions are based on the performance of candidates in the relevant entrance exams conducted by different states of country. The course duration is of 2 years and the fee will be ranging from 9,000 to 2 lakhs rupees per annum. A candidate who has completed diploma in pharmacy can work as scientific officer, quality analyst, production executive and medical transcriptionist. Now let us talk about the Bachelor of Pharmacy. The subjects in Bachelor of Pharmacy involves a detailed study in organic chemistry, human anatomy and physiology, pharmacognosy, pharmaceutics, biochemistry, pharmaceutical mathematics and biostatistics. Here the focus is on healthcare including clinical services, reviewing medication for safety and efficacy and providing drug information, pharmacy practice, prescription, manufacture and provision of medicines. The basic eligibility criteria for pursuing Bachelor of Pharmacy is again 10 plus 2 and candidate should have at least 55% of aggregate in either maths or biology as additional subject. The candidate should study compulsory subjects of physics and chemistry but as an optional subjects of mathematics and biology. That means like candidates who have studied mathematics or the candidates who have studied biology along with physics and chemistry as common subjects can take admission into Bachelor of Pharmacy. The course will be of four years divided into eight semesters and the fee will be ranging from 40,000 to 1 lakh rupees per annum. The career opportunities include drug inspector, analytical chemist, food and drug inspector, hospital drug coordinator, drug therapist, quality control officer, pharmaceutical manufacturing executive, quality assurance executive, pharmacologist, product process development, technical writer, etc. Now comes the Bachelor of Pharmacy in Ayurveda. The Bachelor in Pharmacy in Ayurveda is again of four years and divided into eight semester. As you all are aware, Ayurveda or Ayurvedic science has immense potential in India as it is being practiced over 5000 years and it is native to our motherland. The fee ranges from rupees 20,000 to so 6 lakhs per annum. Now Bachelor of Pharmacy B Farm Lateral for Diploma in Pharmacy candidates. Lateral entry to B Farm course is given to students who have completed a diploma and degree in pharmacy and who want to pursue higher education in pharmacy. This is done by providing a direct admission or entry of student to second year of BPharm course. The duration of course is three years and the course fee ranges from rupees 40,000 to 90,000 per year. Now let us talk about BPharm honors. An honor degree generally comprises of larger course of volume and syllabus coupled with higher standard of education compared to a normal bachelor degree. The BPharm honor degree has been structured to match and exceed the standard and requirements of the pharmacy industry. This degree usually offers students additional foundation course related to the field of pharmacy, which provides them with an extra edge over the competition. The duration of the course is four years and the course fee ranges from rupees 
14 lakhs to 24 lakhs. Now let us talk about Doctor of Pharmacy. Doctor of Pharmacy or we call it as PharmD is an integrated postgraduate professional degree in pharmacy stream. PharmD course duration is 6 years in total inclusion of 5 years as academic learning and 1 year of internship for practical learning. This is only the doctor degree that can be pursued right after passing 10 plus 2 qualifying examination. Uh, moreover, PharmD can also be pursued by BPharm graduates by seeking admission to lateral entry course that is PharmD post baccalaureate for 3 years. To pursue either of the course, the candidate should have to complete their 10 plus 2 level by any state national education board. They must have studied physics and chemistry as compulsory subject with mathematics or biology as additional subjects. Now the career opportunities for doctor of pharmacist is clinical pharmacist, research scientist, regulatory affairs manager, quality assurance manager, medical writer, pharmacy manager, etc. What after doing graduation? Higher education, if you talk about the higher education, after completing the graduation, uh, the candidate can pursue to post-graduation course called as Master of Pharmacy or MPharm. The candidate who wants to pursue Master of Pharmacy must be holding a BPharm degree from an institute approved by Pharmacy Council of India that is PCI and they need to obtain minimum qualified marks as required by respective pharmacy college that is 55% aggregate in the total of the BPharm degree. These MPharm course uh, can be done by taking seven important specializations like pharmaceutics, pharmaceutical chemistry, pharmacology, hospital and clinical pharmacist, quality assurance and quality control, regulatory affairs and pharma biotechnology. Now candidate can take admission into this either by writing GPAT or through management quota. What is GPAT? GPAT is graduate pharmacy aptitude test which is conducted at the national level and the candidate has to clear this exam if they want to take admission into MPharm course. Now there is an another test conducted by NIPER and uh, it is a top colleges in India and if you want to get eligibility to write NIPER then the candidate has to clear up GPAT exam. Now a BPharm candidate, bachelor pharmacy candidate can also pursue MBA that is master in business administration in various specializations like pharma management, finance, marketing or hospital management. A bachelor of pharmacy can also perceive MS through GPAD from NIPER and Bitspellani. Now let us talk about the abroad. The candidates who has completed their graduation in pharmacy in India can also study abroad. They can opt courses which are related to pharmacy or health sciences. But before that, candidate has to clear up few of the exams like GMAT, TOEFL, or IELTS depending on the country they want to pursue their post graduation. Now let us talk about how pharmacists can work in different fields or different places. Pharmacists can work as a community pharmacist. As a community pharmacist, a pharmacist can evaluate a patient drug related needs. He also determines whether the patient has any actual or potential drug related problem. Here community pharmacists will also work with other healthcare professionals to design and implement and monitor a therapeutic plan that will resolve or prevent the problem. A pharmacist can also work in hospital as a hospital pharmacist. You may have seen lots of pharmacies in hospital and the person and a pharmacist who works in that pharmacy is called as hospital pharmacist. These pharmacists are the best informed individuals for drug prescriptions. In most western countries, the diagnosis is done by doctors, but the pharmacists decide the medicine and their dosage. Therefore, pharmacy graduate plays a vital role and can uh, occupy a very important position in their careers. A pharmacist can also work as a clinical pharmacist where it provides direct patient care that optimizes the use of medication and promotes health, wellness and disease prevention. Clinical pharmacists care for patients in all health care settings but the clinical pharmacy and its movement initially began inside the hospitals and clinics. Clinical pharmacists often work in collaboration with the other physicians or physicians assistants, nurses and other healthcare professionals. Clinical pharmacists can also enter into formal collaborative work 
to work for the betterment of patient. Clinical pharmacists can choose to become board certified through the Board of Pharmacy Specialties, which certifies pharmacists in following specialties like ambulatory care pharmacy, clinical critical care pharmacy, nuclear pharmacy, nutrition support pharmacy, oncology pharmacy, pediatric pharmacy, geriatric pharmacy, pharmacotherapy, infectious disease pharmacy, compounded sterile preparations pharmacy, cardiology pharmacy, transplant pharmacist, and psychiatric pharmacists. Now let us talk about the other settings where pharmacists can work. Pharmacists can work in regulatory bodies. These regulatory bodies are the one that controls and regulate medicines. FDA that is Food, Drug and Administration is a regulatory body that deals with the governance and implementation of rules and regulations for the drug and pharmaceutical industry. The post of Drug Inspector, Assistant Drug Controller, Deputy Drug Controller, Drug Controller of State and finally Drug Controller of India is an option that can be aspired for. Now, there are some regulatory bodies at national level or international level. At national level, Director of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India, Drug Controller General of India. We also have Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India. At international level, we have United States of Food and Drug Administration, that is US FDA. We have World Health Organization. Now, pharmacists can work in clinical research. There is a great potential for testing new drugs. Indian Pharma graduates will have a key role in developing new drugs in both preclinical and clinical trials for treating clinical diseases and for ensuring safety and efficacy for patients before releasing it into the market. Now in academics, a pharmacist or a MPharm postgraduate can join as an assistant professor in different departments according to their specializations in different institutes or educational institutions all new cities. A pharmacist can also work in industry and research and development. MPharm postgraduates and doctorates, PhDs are always in high demand for research on new drugs, formulation, development, clinical trials and also toxicological studies. Now if we talk about the industry settings, a pharmacist can work in production. The career option in working in production and manufacturing departments are more the professionals for production and manufacturing are required by biotechnological products, surgical dressings, medical devices, equipments, Ayurvedic, homopathic and Yunani medicines and veterinary medicines to name a few. They are also required for production of various cosmetics, toiletries and dental products. Now a pharmacist can also work in quality assurance. Analysis and testing are required in pharmacy industries, especially in order to maintain a proper quality control and quality assurance. Pharmacists who are highly skilled staff are required for same by companies to handle sensitive analytical dealings and sophisticated equipments. Research and development. Research and development is aimed at achieving advancement in science and technology. Those who are working in research and development from pharmacy background are termed as scientists with greater responsibilities and sharp knowledge. It is a creative work undertaken on a systematic basis in order to increase the stock of knowledge including search of new molecules, synthesis and modification of known molecules or some methods to increase production rate by adopting different techniques. Now let us talk about the packaging. Now pharmaceutical packaging is very important as it involves all the operations from production through drug distribution channels to the end consumer. Now pharmaceutical packaging is highly regulated but with some variation in the details depending on the country of origin or the regions. Several common factors can include assurance of patient safety, assurance of efficacy of the drug through the intended shelf life, uniformity of the drug through the different production lots, through the documentation of all materials and processes, control of possible migration of packaging components into the drug. Control of degradation of drug by oxygen, moisture, heat, etc. Prevention of microbial contamination, sterility, etc. Now, packaging is often involved in dispensing, dosing, and use of pharmaceutical product. Communication of proper use and cautionary labels are also regulated. Packaging is a very integral part of a pharmaceutical product. 
Now let us talk about the sales and marketing. A pharmacist can work in sales and marketing as they are employed by pharmaceutical companies to persuade doctors to prescribe their drugs to patients. Drug companies spend billions of rupees annually sending representatives to doctors to provide product information, answer questions on product use and deliver product samples. These interactions are governed according to limits established by the court on interaction with the healthcare professionals created by an organization of a country. Now let us talk about the pharmacists who can work in government services. A pharmacist can work in army, navy, air force and government hospital. A pharmacist can work as a drug inspector on state and government level. He can work as a scientist in food and drug administration and government laboratories. He can work as a government university professor and a pharmacist also has an opportunity to be selected in UPSC and state public service examinations. A pharmacist can also be working as a government analyst and forensic scientist. He can work in research on tropical diseases, public health. A pharmacist can also be a government certified pharmacologist or toxicologist. He can be a government approved chemist. He can also work as a consultant for medical health, for mental health, addiction, family planning, poisoning, self-medication and immunization. That's all for today. Do like, comment, share and subscribe. Do not forget to press bell icon to receive notification on addition of new videos. Thank you.